Hi, Olympic gold medalist here, Russell Mark from Go Shooting. This week we want to talk about the critical stock dimension called drop. We want to show you how it's measured and the implications if you get it wrong. As we've discussed previously, drop is very easy to measure. Just run a straight edge from your barrels across the top of your stock. The measurement to the front of the stock is called drop at the comb. The measurement at the back is called drop at the heel. The difference between the two measurements calculates the amount of drop. Now drop dimensions will vary from person to person. They're very personal. Factors come into it like the fatness of your head, your cheekbone structure, even your technique. But it will also determine the point of impact of your gun. For events like trap that require higher stocks to shoot a constantly rising target, your reading for drop will give a lower measurement in millimetres. For example, the previous SO5 trap gun had drop at the comb of 34 millimetres. This Silver Pigeon Sporter nearly has 40 millimetres of drop at the comb. Most sporting and field guns have 20 millimetres of drop between the comb and the heel. The traditional trap gun has 10 millimetres of drop, but one of the most common features of a lot of trap guns these days is what's called a Monte Carlo stock with this cutaway at the end, and they have a parallel comb on many occasions that runs parallel to the barrel. We'll discuss this stock in more detail also in a later video. For example, looking down the barrel of a sporting gun with a high measurement for drop may look like this, whereas a trap gun with a higher comb, therefore producing a lower measurement in drop, will produce a sight picture that looks like this, and also a much higher point of impact. Once again, it's a change in your drop measurements that will have this variance, but it's a change in cast that will cause this discrepancy. Now, just a word of warning with these adjustable rib guns, and they're very popular now. You can make an adjustable rib gun where you look dead flat along the rib, but in reality, it'll shoot very high. And alternatively, you can see a lot of the rib of the gun and the gun will shoot very flat. This is going to be a subject for a future video. In conclusion, your dimensions for drop are similar to those for your length of pull. There are no standard dimensions. It will vary from your body shape to the discipline that you're shooting in. What I do urge you to do is to perfect your drop dimensions down on the pattern board. You need to know where your point of impact is. But I'm constantly amazed by the amount of guys or girls out there shooting clay targets that have no clue where their gun shoots. What is also disappointing is the amount of coaches out there that are coaching a student and have no clue also where their students' guns are shooting and have no desire to find out. For those people that are getting coached by someone like this, I've got one piece of advice. Find another coach. We hope this video helps you hit a few more clay targets and from all of us here at Go Shooting, good luck and look forward to seeing you at the range real soon.